Hey guys, I'm coming to you with um, something that just stood out to me and was definitely in my spirit to talk about. Um, so the topic for today is supernatural discernment. And I actually was listening to a gospel song uh, this morning and that stood out to me like <laughs> so much. So what did I do? I go to my notes of my phone and I write it down um, so I could dig deeper into that. And I know there's a reason why supernatural discernment stood out to me is because, you know, along my journey, God has been teaching me how to discern things. I always state it in almost every video on how important it is to be able to discern what's going on um, in and around you, right? So I took a deeper look and I always research, you know, <laughs> um, this to be able to relate it to my life and to just get a better understanding behind the statement, right? Um, so when we talk about supernatural discernment, it's seeing beyond the natural. And what that means is beyond what our eyes can see. Um, for example, you may be able to see that certain things are happening around the world, right? Like um, that may be unusual um, or may not have happened before, but you're seeing it as though, um, the way you're seeing it is like, oh, okay. The fires, the apartment buildings, you know, with tons of people in them dying or the fire in the waters or COVID or um, wars breaking out, famine, you know, not having food or floods and things like that. You're like, oh, wow, this is just unbelievable that it's happening. Um, it must be like bad luck or, you know, but when you have supernatural discernment, you're able to see beyond the physical, beyond what your eyes can see. And I believe that a lot of prophetic people, um, a lot of Christians, a lot of people that um, actually have great discernment are, like this is our time right now where we are looking beyond what our eyes can see. We're looking beyond what the news shows us. We're looking beyond what the pictures show us. We're looking beyond what statistics show us, the graphs, the everything. And we know that there is a deeper reasoning behind what is occurring in our natural eye, if that makes any sense. Um, it's also the ability to detect spiritual matter and things concerning that dimension. Okay, guys, this is so deep. I just need you guys to listen out. My air hustlers, like this is an important piece of knowledge and God definitely wanted me to unpack this and to bring attention to this. In order to have this ability, you know, supernatural discernment, you must have the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. You guys, this is so, so deep, so important. And um, having the Holy Spirit, like it's, it's, there's so many different layers. I could peel back according to this. Um, having the Holy Spirit, I'm going to explain to you guys what the Holy Spirit is, what it means to have the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to also explain to you how people get the Holy Spirit, right? Okay. So, because you can't, you can't just, oh, supernatural discernment. No, there is a peeling back. There's like layers upon layers. Um, that's why, you know, I don't take when people say, oh, well, I've been going to church for so many years and they're not practicing it. First of all, I don't see them practicing it in their life. I don't see them unpacking the Bible without just like reading it for face value um, because there's so many different layers there's so many different aspects of your life that it can apply to and when you're a devout Christian um, and you are seeking God daily and you are filled with the Holy Spirit these are the things that you tend to learn along the way so um, I'm gonna try to give you guys some insight as to how we do this, what the meaning of it is. And so you can better understand your fellow, you know, um, Christians, friends, family, people around you in the world today. 
So the Holy Spirit is in Christianity. It's the third person of the Trinity. God as spiritually active in the world. So that's the Holy Spirit, okay? Um, first, we have God the Father. Then we have God the Son, Jesus. And then we have the Holy Spirit, which is actively in the world, right? And that's why people say, you know, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. It's in me. Um, you know, so just want to let you guys know that before we continue. All right. So basically to discern is the ability to properly examine, hold investigation, to discriminate or make determinations, right? It also means to ask, question, discern, examine, judge, and search, okay? Um, and this is just confirmation for me um, because I think I've described in my videos before that I have been more confident than I have been in the past. And this is explaining what I definitely mean by that. Um, you know, whether it's standing my ground on a belief that I have and not wavering from that. And I, you know, I explained to my friends and my family, I'm like, listen, I have never been so grounded and so sure of the decisions that I'm making in my life now, but I know that's because of the Holy Spirit, um, how the Holy Spirit has given me this supernatural discernment to be able to judge, examine, um, make determinations, hold investigations, search, the Holy Spirit has done a lot of this for me that way so that I can be fully confident in the choices and decisions that I decide to make in my life. And also, they, the Holy Spirit does not just tell you, don't do that, you know. Um, the Holy Spirit will reveal reasons why you shouldn't. And this is so important because Many of you are asking yourselves, why don't people understand where I'm coming from? Why can't they see? How do they not see what's going on in the world? How do they not, how do they not know that that is, you know, of the enemy or that is not the decision that they should be making? And it's because, and thank you, God, thank you, Holy Spirit, for revealing this to me. It's because you're functioning under supernatural discernment while others are not okay so deep you guys all right um to discern is closely related to wisdom that a believer must have in times of crisis warfare and in your spirituality you guys <laughs> so deep I, i'm just shaking i'm trembling because I am so amazed by the gifts that God has given me and the revela revelations that the Holy Spirit is allowing me to see and to be able to discern. It's just so important during times like this. And I'm going to go deeper and explain to you guys why and how. So I have some scripture. Hebrews 4.12 says this about a discerner. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the discerner of the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. This is in scripture. And whew, um, it's so true with today. And, you know, when we say we are, you know, warriors, you know, you hear that a lot. Corinne Hawthorne has a song, Warriors go listen to it. Um, we say we are in a part of God's army, you know, um, this is shedding light into that and what we mean when we say that. I also have more scripture, Hosea 14, 9, okay, and I'll put this in the description, you guys. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them but transgressors stumble in them. Okay, guys. What I took away from this is the Holy Spirit and the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, okay? So the combination of the Holy Spirit and the word of God, the Bible, 
the stories in the Bible, that's the sword against, that's the sword of the spirit, right? And we use it against, you know, you know, to fight against things that may be pushing us back or that we may be going through in the world and of the world, right? But that's why, you know, we put on the armor of God and we have our sword and we're ready for war. We're warriors. He provides us with this, this covering. He provides us with this discernment and this shield for that very purpose. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Discerning, what I need you guys to understand is that discerning is not assuming, okay? It's not being a conspiracy theorist, which is what people of the world will try to throw at you. They will say, you are just being a conspiracy theorist. You are just crazy. You are just this. And we cannot be mad at them for thinking this because their eyes are not our eyes. We do not see the same things. And that doesn't make them a bad person or anything. It just, you know, shows you how strong the word is how powerful God is and how he gives some of us that power, that supernatural discernment power to be able to do these things that others do not understand or may not ever understand, even if you try to explain it to them until you're blue in the face, right? Amen. Okay. So Discerning is not assuming, you guys. It is properly assessing and examining the facts. And I'm just going to go off of that because, you know, in a world where they are trying to fact check things all the time, whether it's properly fact checking or improper fact checking, you know, um, someone that is functioning from, you know, supernatural discernment of the Holy Spirit knows the ultimate fact check, right? <laughs> um, because we understand that God checks everything, okay? He is the alpha and the omega, and he is a ruler of everything. He's all powerful, all knowing. So when we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, amen, thank you, Jesus. Like When we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, the Holy Spirit being of God, right? we are able to properly assess and examine the facts above what any human of the world can, of how they can, okay? We know they don't know. And that is why many of us are so confident in our walk with Christ because he has given us this power that is out of this world, okay? If a person doesn't study and know the word of God, the Bible, they will fall victim to walking in error and they will be susceptible to becoming double-minded or unstable, okay? They will question their decisions, right? They'll question whether they made the right decision or not, or they may just make that decision because they're following other people because they cannot fully, you know, discern, <laughs> there we go again with that word, whether or not it is right. But when you are a child of God, when you are a chosen one of God, when you are fully functioning with the Holy Spirit and the word of God, we are confident enough. We are walking in that confidence because God has given us that confidence to be able to, you know, properly assess again and examine the facts. So we're like, no, this is what I'm doing. And I know it's right. God told me, <laughs> you know, you know, he fact checked it first. He revealed it to us and we were able to say, you know, to say, you know, no to whatever it is or to be able to confidently um, walk in the choices that we decided to make in our lives. Right. Mm, this is deep. I wasn't even like, you guys, I cannot even believe I was able to unpack this so much from getting this phrase from a song. And that just shows me the level of wisdom that God has given me and the power of the wisdom that God has given me. 
in a time in a place where I have felt the most understood ever in my life, in my entire life. And now God, after I've prayed over and over again, he is just revealing it to me. When I am go to God in prayer, like, God, why don't they understand me? Why is the enemy coming up against me? Why, are, you know, they, are they pushing me up against the walls and just making me seem like I'm an outsider or making it seem like I'm making the wrong decisions for not following the crowd or not following man, whether it's man being uh, the most powerful person in the worldly realm, um, like a president or a governor or whoever it may be, or a boss. Um, it, it is just so powerful, you guys, um, when you get the answers to your prayers and the questions that you have. And it just proves even more how real God is and how real and how powerful the Holy Spirit is, okay? Mm. The Bible, you guys, even talks about nations lacking discernment and sense. And we find that in Deuteronomy 32, 28. And I am going to plug that into the comments as well so you guys can go read it. Listen, I didn't make this up. <laughs> you know, God talks about it. You know, his disciples talk about it in the Bible. Um, but I do want you guys to know that in this time, in this day and age that we are walking in, that God is raising up leaders in the body of Christ who possess this wisdom of discernment and common sense. So don't just write us off. <laughs> don't just check us off the list and put us on the crazy list, okay? You know, because this power of discerning the spirits is the power and the ability to be able to think, perceive, and comprehend the things of God against what's not of him, okay? So when we say that's not of God, I'm not doing that because that's not of God. That's not in the will of God. That's outside of the will of God. It's because he's revealed to us what is in his will and what is not in his will. We are not making this up on our own. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I fed y'all a lot today. I'm not going to dig deeper into that, but that is just a word. And I have so much more scripture that I'm going to be unpacking and showing you guys where this is coming from and how active and live the word of God is, um, not just in the spiritual realm, but in the, the worldly realm as well. And the things that, you know, this is a, a great time for us Christians here um, because, um, and it said it in Revelations and I love Revelations. It, it, it's just proving to be true. And the times that we're in is just actively playing out. And I have never felt more proud to be a part of something. I have never felt more proud to be chosen by God um, and to, be a, to have been given the supernatural power of discernment is just amazing. Now God is starting to give me dreams that I am able to interpret. And that is just, <laughs> you, you guys, you understand, more better than money, better than fame, better than anything else. Um, so I'm just looking forward to what else God is planning on revealing to me and teaching me because this knowledge and wisdom that I'm gaining from him is out of this world. Okay. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that word. I love you all. And thank you for listening. Have a great day.